Hi there, Jeff here in the boardroom once more, talking you through the NSP Fish range uh, today. Um, fantastic boards, uh, very very popular with beginners, intermediates, and even some advanced surfers as well. Okay, lots of reasons for that, and I'll run you through those. Uh, first things first, uh, just to really sort of mention about the NSP boards. Obviously, you get these crazy little graphics, fantastic looking boards. Okay, uh, you get the free tail pad with this board as well. All boards come with a tail pad set on the board. I'm going to run through the sort of benefits of that in a little bit more in a second. First thing really to mention about the boards, the NSP, is the construction. Okay, these boards are a very sort of complicated and a very hard wearing construction. It's a foam core. Okay, uh, but unlike the Bix, they're not just plastic over the top. You then get like a wood laminate, which gives the board a nice feel. Okay, and then you get seven layers of epoxy over the top of that to really give it durability. One thing that really doesn't come across, obviously, on the camera is how light these boards are. Really, really lightweight. Okay? One of the key questions we get asked is the difference between, say, a BIC and an NSP. Why should I pay more for an NSP when I'm learning? Okay? Uh, BIC is very straightforward construction, very robust and nice to pop up on. But when you actually learn, to, when you actually start to progress a little bit more and you're looking for something which is going to basically a little bit lighter, a little bit more responsive and a little bit more high performance, that's where the NSPs come in. Okay, they're a bit more performancey, they're better shapes, they're more professionally shaped in terms of the actual sort of rails and the rocker and the curvature of the board, um, which is going to see you a better into your sort of intermediate stage of your surfing. Okay, so it will last you longer basically in terms of the lifespan of the board. But again, if you're just looking for a board to knock around in the summer, then that's why the bits are good as well. Okay. First thing to mention about this board then, aside from the construction, is the shape. Okay. The shape of the board is uh, what we call a fish shape, and when we say fish, basically it's quite straight for crop office, really, it's the shape of the tail, okay, like a fish shaped tail basically. And what that does is it assists you in catching waves, okay, sort of the V shape in the tail there basically collects more water and gives you more momentum to push through and actually get you into more waves, okay, which is a real benefit when you're learning to surf or if you're surfing waves that aren't as powerful as uh, some of the waves overseas, that's just typical in the UK basically. Uh, lots of width in the board. The width in the board is going to give you stability, so when you pop up, you're not going to wobble, you're not going to fall off. It's the stability is there in a nice full rail. Okay, and that rail is the fullness is carried right through to the nose, and the benefits of that is there's more volume in the nose. So when you're paddling, it planes better, again allowing you to get into waves a little bit earlier, and being more forgiving when you're taking off and executing the manoeuvres. Okay. Um, the volume of the board, the thickness, okay, is uh, nice and thick right through the fish range, which is again going to allow you to sit higher in the water, more buoyancy, uh, meaning that you're going to be able to paddle easier, catch more waves, and uh, it's going to be easier to pop up on because there's not more stability there as well. Okay, so that's the, the shape and in essence. If you have a little look down the line of the board, you can see sort of, quite a lot of curve in the board there. That's what we call rocker, okay, the rocker of the board. It's not too complicated in these boards, unlike some of the sort of like PU or custom made boards which are really refined for, for surfers that have been surfing for a while longer. Uh, so it's more straightforward. Basically, the rocker of the board just allows you to uh, plane on the uh, water a lot easier. If it was flat, the nose would catch when you're taking off and you fall off the front, which is a common uh, error with learners uh, when you're actually learning to surf. You sort of what we call go over the falls or go um, arse over tit, as you might say. Okay? Um, so that stops that happening basically, that rocker. allows you to plane across the water better and it actually helps when you're executing manoeuvres as well. So once you actually reach that intermediate stage or more advanced stage of uh, surfing, that rocker is going to help you as well. Okay. Having a look on the underside of the board, the fin system is NT NSP's own fin system. Really, really straightforward basically. You get the fins with the board and you also get the uh, little screwdriver as well. So you get a little box with the board which will have everything you need in it. You pop the fin in and the screw goes the other side, attaches and pulls it in. Really easy to um, put on, really easy to take off, so when you're travelling, really good. You'll have your fins on in seconds and be ready to surf. So that's a nice uh, little feature about the board as well. Okay, turning it back over. The tail pad, I mentioned before, you get a free tail pad with every surfboard with the NSPs, uh, apart from the uh, sort of uh, uh, larger, larger boards where you don't actually really need them. The tail pad is there to give you traction, basically. Uh, it's ergonomically designed to, meet, to match the sole of your foot. You've got a little kick pad at the back there as well. It means that you, when you're surfing, you can lock your back foot onto the tail pad. And that really helps when you're uh, sort of executing more radical manoeuvres, you know, like tight cutbacks, hitting the lip, floaters, that kind of stuff. That traction is essential on your back foot to make sure you don't slip off when you're sort of leaning into your turns. Okay, so that is a nice little bonus and will definitely assist you when you get a bit better. 
Got your leash attacher there. Okay. Now for the fish range, obviously this goes up to the 6.4. Okay. Uh, from the 5.6. Now, the key area that NSP are really sort of uh, looking for, the two key sort of market, and what you should be thinking about when you're buying this board, is it's really sort of designed for kids that are looking to learn to surf. Obviously, uh, some of the bigs, the quite big, uh, are not going to be that manageable. With the NSPs, uh, they're obviously more performance shaped, they're more manageable for a child as well, okay? But they're not going to be restrictive. So once they actually get a bit better, okay, they get this board is going to see them good as well. It's, no reason why they won't be able to progress really well on a surfboard like this, unlike maybe like the Bix, which aren't quite as refined. So a board like this will see them right through from beginner level through to sort of intermediate and even advanced, okay? They are good to learn on, okay? Um, but they're also good as a step down board. So if you've got a really small child, it's like 8, 10, 12 years old, and they're quite, or just a child with a small frame, or even an adult with a small frame, then these will be okay to learn on because you'll be enough volume there to actually get started as a beginner. Um, having said that, if you've got a slightly older child who's maybe a bit bigger, uh, it might be an idea to start them off on a foam board, something like that, and then move down onto a board like this. So it's a good sort of second board or for a slightly larger child, or a good first board for a smaller child, basically. Um, so that's the sort of key sort of demographic they're looking for at the NSP. Uh, but also, having said that, these are great boards for just a summer fun board for anyone that surfs. Intermediate, advanced, they're well priced, they're really robust. Having surfed the 6.0 myself and the 5.6, it's a really good, fun little board. Really good for UK waves where you need a bit more volume and width to catch them. And it will still, there's no reason you can't surf this well.